Our infrastructure is aging, and at the same time, we're placing increasing demands and expectations upon it. This is a critical national challenge. We have to transform our thinking right now. It's one of the largest emergencies in, in society. These assets are beginning to fall down. Uh, unless we want that to become a, a common occurrence, we have to act now. One of the most pressing issues is that the majority of bridge assets were all constructed during a 30-year period of time, which means as they age, they're all aging together and they're all coming to a point in time where the problems are getting worse together. It's really important to tackle this problem now because we know that degradation is accelerating because of extremes of weather. Break that infrastructure and everything begins to fail. How long can a big city last without its logistics? It's vital that we start solving this now. We need to make sure that we're investing scarce resources in an optimal fashion to assure the safety and operational performance of these assets, but also to make sure that we minimize any adverse environmental and social impacts from maintenance interventions. If this problem were left, and say 40% of the bridges needed maintenance at the same time, there wouldn't be enough resources in the budget to address the problem. And to compound that, it would be the largest source of carbon because of the steel and the concrete that are involved in the construction. What we need to do as asset managers is to find the right intervention at the right time. And while that might sound simple, in practice it's exceptionally difficult. It was quite common early in my career to encounter teams of engineers who had spent many, many years looking after a particular portfolio of assets. And those teams would have an encyclopedic knowledge of the complete history of those assets and also embody a sense of long-term custodianship. It's much less common to encounter that these days. And whilst over the years there's been a huge amount of positive change, I think we've lost something as a result. The good news is the technology has reached a point where AI and machine learning can help to solve these problems today. With the data and the workflows that exist, asset managers can transform the way that they think about and the way that they actively make decisions about maintaining these assets. One of the key challenges for asset owners is understanding when to make the right intervention. That deterioration profile is non-linear. It will go flat and then suddenly accelerate. With AI, we're hoping to predict when the optimal time to do that small maintenance work is so that we don't have works that cost an order of magnitude more. And so MindFoundry and WSP have been working together on this to provide a solution. That's what we call digital custodianship. Digital custodianship is about building technologies that enable us to look after our bridges, our infrastructure, not just for now, but for the long term. We see AI being part of the team for asset managers. We're going to harness the tacit knowledge in the human experts' minds to understand the trends and understand some of the cognitive processes behind decision making. The digital custodian will pull together the information that we have on our assets, both in structured databases and in things like PDF reports, so that we can have a complete picture of what's going on for that particular structure. I've been blown away by what MindFoundry scientists and engineers have been able to do in our work with them so far. With AI in the loop and as part of our team, we'll have the evidence that we need to justify making the right decisions. And I'm really excited to be able to deploy that technology for our assets today and in the future. It's great to have people like WSP as a partner. They challenge the norm and their deep technical expertise in infrastructure has the effect of really spurring everybody on to produce something even better. It's not our vision that we replace inspectors, engineers, asset managers, but it is a future where we can use digital tools, AI, to aggregate data in ways that simply isn't possible for us to do, and through that enable better, more informed, more quantified, more evidence-backed decision-making. Denis Gabor, the Hungarian physicist and engineer, once famously said, we can't predict the future, but we can engineer it. And we see digital custodianship as part of engineering to protect infrastructure for the future.